As the country grapples with more COVID-19 cases today, students were welcomed back into the classroom at one Central Coast school for the first time in months after their distance learning. Good evening. Thanks for being here at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. The coronavirus pandemic forced many schools on the Central Coast and across the nation to go online. Now, Greenfield Union School District is giving parents the option to send back a limited number of students for those in-person classes. Our KALN's Alicia Machado gives us an inside look at some of the precautions that the district is taking to keep their students safe. When students come to school, they'll start off their morning with a temperature check and also a health screening. The school also has hand sanitizer and masks on hand. It's an unusual first day in the classroom for kids at Oak Avenue Elementary School in Greenfield. Masks are on students and staff members are donning face shields and gloves. But despite these changes, kids are excited to be back, like TK student Carali Duarte. She's been wanting to come to school for a while. It just ha hasn't been possible, so now that it's possible, we're trying to see how it goes. I feel like she'll be really safe here. Inside the classroom, kids are separated by plexiglass shields and have their own supplies. Laptops are out for some teachers who are also continuing online instruction for students whose parents chose to keep them at home. Greenfield Union School District Superintendent Zandra Galvan says not all parents wanted their kids back in the classroom just yet. We had 57% of our families that wanted to remain on distance learning and 43% of those families wanted their child back in school. So the students who are coming to school today in those three particular grades happen to be students of families that want their children back in school. Under state guidelines, schools are allowed to offer in-person instruction for a limited set of students in small groups during the purple tier, where Monterey County currently is. So the district chose to allow kids back on campus in preschool, transitional kindergarten, also known as TK, and special day classes for students who need some extra help with learning. Superintendent Galvan says it's important to bring these grade levels back for in-person instruction, especially for the younger kids who just started school. Their first experience with school was on a Zoom distance learning computer, and so we've thought of them first. And the other population um, is our special day class students, special needs students that are not necessarily is it easy for them to stay connected virtually for long periods of time. Galvan says it took quite a few months of planning to make sure health and safety guidelines were in place before they brought kids back. We're told the classrooms are disinfected after students and teachers use the spaces. The school is hoping to bring back more students once Monterey County is out of the purple tier. Reporting in Greenfield, Alicia Machado, KION News Channel 546.